What is going on everybody? It is Amtrak CGE here and I'm bringing you an actual tutorial for once. Uh, I usually don't do tutorials. So uh, I'm going to be teaching you today how to do a button that resizes the forms uh, in Visual Studio. Um, I'm going to be in Visual Studio Community 2013. So let's uh, open Visual Studio and let's uh, create a new project or just continue your project that you already have. I'm just going to make this one uh, YouTube for the sake of this video. Uh, so now that that loads, we are going to uh, edit a few things before we start. Um, my preferences uh, is uh, black for the back, but that's whatever your preferences or whatever your form is currently, that's fine. The next thing we're going to do is I suggest everybody should start like this is increase your font size to begin with so that you don't have to resize the um, buttons individually. So now when I place a button, which you're going to do now, uh, the font size is already bigger than it already was before. It's already the f size you set. So let's just rename this one Grow, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to grow the form, make it bigger. Um, but uh, a few things that we're going to do also before we start is we're going to make under form border style, we're going to select the non or the fixed single because I read none. We're going to select a fixed single. This will restrict the user so they cannot, for some reason, they went over there, uh, size the form manually. They will have to push the button. And then we're going to change the start position into the center. Uh, remove the icon, minimum. In the minimize box and the maximize box. So now you have a pretty uh, control box, or at least for this form anyway. But you can leave it if you need it, and you, you know for other your products that you need. Now, now we can start coding. So to grow this form, let's say we need it this size. We need this size to view this second button that we're going to add. I'll show you how to do it a different way later in the video. So we're going to take this button 2 and we're going to name this one shrink. And we're going to get the coordinates um, of the main form itself, so which would be the size. So the size is you know, 623 and the height is 379. Now I'm just going to copy both of these and go into the code, hit F7, or you would, to get back to your code as easy as just F7. Instead of double clicking and then just creating the load thing, uh, hitting F7 really helps. But we're going to use a click method, which would be accessed by clicking, double clicking the button or going over here and clicking click. Now we're going to start coding. So now in button one, we want the uh, form size to grow. So the form size will be that size at the end. So we need to add the width equals 623 and the height is 379. This will be different depending on what you want to do with your form and how big you need it. And you can just delete these. Next we're going to shrink this form to this size and we're going to view the properties again. Uh, 174 and 110. So now we're going to double click the shrink button, which we need to do here, and paste these in here. And we need to do the width equals 174. And the height equals 110. Whoops, I think I did that right goes 110 and just delete these and then to get this back to size you already copied the size of the form so just control V or right click paste into that uh, form and just push enter and it's back at the original size now if we start this when you push grow it will grow if you push shrink it shrinks but say you don't need two buttons uh, so what happens if you don't need two buttons? What if you just want one to grow and shrink the form? Well, here's I'll show you how to do that in just a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the one button method. And that is by 
doing a set of code with an if statement. Now we're going to add our button, and this one's going to say grow. And we're going to, I already changed, we're going to select coordinates and stuff like that. We're going to double click on the grow button, or wherever your grow button that you have is, and I already have two of them apparently. Question mark? Okay. Well, now the first thing we're going to do is write an if statement. If width equals, but we don't have the width. So let's get the width of the small size. So this is the size of the form that we want to be the small size, or whatever size your form may be. Now we will copy that and we will paste it in. Whoops, I pushed the wrong button. We're going to do if width equals 197 and height equals 116, then width equals and then height equals. Else height or width equals 197 and height equals 116. Now let me explain. Now when you run the if statement it'll ask okay well is the form 197 by 116 and if it's yes then it grows the form bigger to the size that you want it. So let's say we need this form this size, which is 752 and 459. And then we'll remove these little comment marks and delete this. Now, if we run this, which you have to remember, to resize your form back down to the small size um, coordinates, um, which is 197 by 116. So, so 197, 116, and we're started. So now, if we do it, and I just lost all my windows, uh, you would do grow, and it would grow. And then if you shrink it, you shrink it. But when you click the button, it still says grow. So do you want to grow it any bigger? No, that's common text updating tools. So now let's change the text of the of the button when you click it. So if, this, if the height is going to be grown, then you want to add the button text. The button dot text equals, and then quotation marks, uh, shrink because you want to shrink it after you grow it. But if you want to grow it after you shrink it, you want to put button dot text equals quotation marks grow. So now when you start the program, it says grow and when it grows, you can shrink it by pushing the shrink button. I'll be putting more tutorials out there uh, on random visual basic and uh, maybe some C-sharp stuff, but uh, this is my first tutorial on it, and I hope it did good. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, watch my tutorials in. This, is, uh, this has been Antrax TGE, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Peace.